Whew. Howdy guys. So it's uh, uh it's about the end of the day. I thought I'd record a video. I haven't done one of these in a while. Uh it's a nice quiet day, evening on the lake. Uh the sun will probably go down in a few hours, so uh, I've been out on this lake for maybe like an hour, and so I decided to break out the kayak. Um, I actually don't know if I've ever uploaded a video on, um, if I ever got around to uploading a review on this kayak yet. Uh, uh, by the way, this is the Intex Challenger K1 uh, on Amazon. Kayak inflatable kayak. Uh, it's a nice, you know, sturdy kayak, you know, pretty... Um, pretty resilient i've had it for a few months well maybe like a month now i haven't had it that long uh surprisingly it can carry a lot of weight it's like i got my book bag here with a uh, fishing gear in it and i have this fishing pole and it's i got myself in it and i'm about like uh currently i'm about like one 190 yeah so it can carry a decent amount of weight i've seen videos on youtube of like grown men that are bigger than i am in this kayak and it can still hold up so this kayak can handle a good amount of weight uh but anyway i don't think i'm gonna do a review on this uh and you know if i was gonna do a review on this uh, uh i could summarize it all into like mm, i'd give it nine out of ten stars so, on a scale of like 1 to 10, if I had to rate this kayak, I'd give it a 9. A nice solid 9. Uh, the reason I'm not giving it a 10 though is just because um, it is it's still an inflatable kayak. It does take, it actually doesn't take that long to inflate, but uh, the deflating process and re um, the process of deflating it and getting it back in its case, and it's like... Uh, into its bag it's kind of lengthy it takes a while to like it's kind of tricky to get the air out of it so that's the reason i'm game, giving it nine out of ten stars anyway uh that's the end of uh my review for this kayak uh uh the plan for today well for the rest of the day is to just do some light fishing uh hopefully i'll catch a bass or something uh i'm doing some bass fishing today um and just do some kayaking and i'm thinking i'm gonna like dock somewhere on this little um peninsula right here and i'll probably do some fishing there uh but yeah um we're at this nice lake it's a nice quiet lake here in the country uh it looks like there's a couple of people out here i mean i've ran into a couple of other fishers and um uh just random people that are out here to do some fishing or boating and all that fun stuff. I mean, up there you can see some people that are doing some camping. There's always people camping out here. Uh, the water is nice and flat. So that's good. It makes it easier to maneuver. But of course, now that I, uh, with this weight right here, it's a little bit harder to move fast through the water. But hey, at least um, it, this boat does get you on the water though and I do appreciate that it does its job and it's it does its job the best that it can be done you know so I'm thinking about um I'm probably gonna like get hop on this peninsula right here because this seems like a good solid place to do some fishing or I'll just fish on the coast right here I'll go ahead and cast my line out hold up I gotta uh, there we go There we go. Uh, there's the sun. Nice sunny day. Uh, here's my lure. I'm using a lure that um, I recently got. Uh, it's a little, I think it's supposed to resemble a snake. And it's supposed to like corkscrew in the water. So I'm going to cast this out. Oh shoot, that was a terrible, a terrible cast. Damn. I don't know what went wrong. Hold up, let me try that again. See, it can kind of like corkscrew in the water. Oh, dude, I did something wrong. Hold up, I'm gonna try this again. There we go, that's a lot better. You can hear some children in the background because, like I said, there are people camping here and fishing here. There's lots of uh, fishing spots around here. So how's your guys today?
Hey guys, so uh, I'm back again, and uh, this, as you can see, the sun has set. There's lots of pretty colors in the sky. You can see it reflecting on the ground here. Uh, the moon is out, which is also nicely reflecting on the water. I stopped to take some Instagram photos. Uh, follow me on Instagram. It's your boy ATK if you want to see my Instagram photography. Uh, because as you may or may not know, I am a photographer, kind of, sort of. Uh, but yeah, uh, still fishing out here. Still have not caught anything. Oh, shoot. Alright, let me try that again. I just want to do it right. Okay, what's wrong with this? Oh, snap. Okay, this is bad. This is bad. Somehow, I got tangled. Oh my god, do you seeing this? Oh my god. Okay, the crazy thing too is I don't have a knife either, so I don't know how I'm going to fix this. Oh, snap. Okay, so I think step one is to like... Nah, it's tangled. I gotta cut it. Uh, well, since I don't have a knife on me and it's nearly impossible to uh, break this with your hands because I actually tried earlier and I don't know if you can see, but I tried breaking the string earlier to uh, re-lure it and I actually kind of, the string actually dug into my finger. You can't see it on camera, but that's actually pretty deep. So I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna try that again uh, and risk another um, cut from the string. So you know what, it looks like we're done fishing today uh, since I literally don't have a way to replace this or cut it or anything because I don't know where my knife is. I thought it was in my bag, but it's fuck, it just isn't. Uh, I don't know if, if I just misplaced it somewhere or what, but it's almost always in my bag and for some reason it isn't. So you know what, it looks like we're done fishing today, but uh, I think we, we could still do some kayaking. I mean, look how flat that water is. So here's what we're gonna do. Uh, since we're not doing any more fishing, I'm going to pack the stuff up and I'm going to head out. Okay, hold up. I gotta... I gotta collapse this somehow. Oh my god, this is being a little bitch now. Are you seeing this? You know what, I'll deal with that later. I just got to collapse this and then... Hold up. There we go. Now I just gotta put that like that, and I'll just tuck this. Well, maybe it'd be wiser to tuck it in like this. So that way I don't get the hooks on anything important, and like, oh, I'll get it snagged on my my bag. There we go, perfect. All right, guys. So I think we'll do a little bit of kayaking, and then we're gonna head out. Uh, it's beautiful. It's been a beautiful day, uh, like the perfect temperature. It's been a good like 70 to, uh, 72 degrees out here. Uh, perfect for doing uh, some fishing and kayaking. Um, so yeah. Come on. Come on, get in there. There we go. All right, so the key to getting in a kayak is to get your butt in the sea as quickly as possible. Oh God, it's all slimy here. I'm gonna get slime inside my... <sighs> That's the sucky part about fishing on this, um, about kayaking this little peninsula right here. It's all slimy right here. Could be worse though, at least it's not mud. All right, so I guess clean my foot. And it does. There we go. Fast as you can. Get in there. Clean my other foot. Get all that slime off of there. And put that. Took my feet in the kayak. Look at that, guys. Look at all those beautiful colors. I got a little um, a little baby uh, Bluetooth speaker in here too, so you'll probably hear that in the background also. I don't know if I'll get copyrighted for that. I don't know if it's loud enough to hear. Uh, but yeah, we're just gonna do some kayaking and see where else the day takes us, you know? Alrighty guys, so we're, uh, it's gotten darker, the moon has gotten brighter, the sun has gotten darker. 
uh, we're paddling past the camping area so I can definitely smell the campfires and all the, the all the other camping stuff going on the smell of campfire it's nice it's a nice smell I like it I like camping I should do it more often but uh, a lot of times I can't find anyone to go with me so I usually have to go by myself and that's usually not a lot of fun I think it's pretty fun though being out in a in nature and tent I think it's nice to get away from things and unplug every once in a while I think it's a healthy exercise for everyone to do so yeah here we are we're just paddling along and just vibing the water is insanely flat so I don't have any currents that I need to fight uh, normally I would avoid being out in the middle of the water uh, during the day because that's uh, it's kind of harder to fight currents You know, I've never been down, um, I've actually never paddled to the end of this, so I actually don't know what's down here. I, I still don't think I'm going to see what's at the end of this, because, ah, oh, damn. Okay, so I still don't, I don't know if I feel like paddling the whole length, because I'm pretty sure it's like, what, like, maybe like, I'd say about a mile and a half, maybe two miles. That's what I've heard anyway. guys so I think we're gonna go ahead and head back now uh, it's been a nice day and I think I'm ready to paddle my way back to my starting point it's not too far it's basically at the um, you can basically see the horizon like over here so that horizon is basically just where I need to go uh, there's some docks over there see look you can see like the campers and all that you know I've actually um I've actually thought about camping out here, but the th the reason I don't really like camping out here, or why I've never really uh, tried to camp out here, is because I've I've taken a look at their campground and, and it looks like it's just a bunch of like an RV place. Like uh, my kind of camping is the kind where like you get in the woods, like these people are right here, because I like to be surrounded by trees with um, uh, almost no one around. I don't like being able to see my neighbors. You know what I mean? I like to be able to be um, uh, my solitude out in like in the forest, but not too deep in the forest. So you know what I mean. Anyway, that's my little anecdotal. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and head back. Uh, and uh, hey, thank you guys for watching. If you want to see more of my videos, uh, go ahead and check out my YouTube channel. Uh, it's your boy HTK. Hey I'll probably have like a link in the description or something. Go ahead and check it out. I got some great videos there. I've gotten some videos of me camping. Uh, I got some videos of me uh, hiking and having all sorts of adventures. And I want you guys to see it. So go ahead and check that out. You can follow me on Instagram. Uh, it's your boy ATK. Also, you can follow me on Twitter, which I almost never use, but it's there if you want to follow it. Um, also, it's your boy ATK. Let's see. I don't think I got any more plugs. Um, uh, I got a gaming channel that I never post on, which I won't even bother mentioning. I'm pretty sure it's on my channel. Also, it's just uh, what's it? I think it's just ATK. Oh yeah, you can hear the nature around us now. I didn't catch any fish today, by the way. If you're wondering, just in case you were wondering, I didn't catch anything nothing uh also uh also another side tangent it was my birthday uh this weekend oh well thursday uh thursday was my birthday uh, i actually thought about making a video on like my thoughts about getting older because all right I i'm gonna try to end this video real quick but real quickly i just thought to give a few thoughts about um getting older because honestly I actually don't really like my birthday here's why uh, I don't like getting older you know what I mean because like I don't like get being I don't like um, 
well, that's pretty much about it. Like, I just don't like getting older. I don't like, um, uh, aging up and, like, because aging up is, like, uh, I don't really have a lot of people in this world that I can rely on that can be there for me because I don't really have a family. So, for someone like me, getting older is kind of a scary thing because, especially when you don't got a lot of people to lean on, you know? Because I don't really have a family. I won't go into the details, but just take my word for it. It's it's a scary, scary thing when you get older. And, and you know, sometimes I wonder, like, is it... See, like, years... Like, as, the more... Okay, here's, here's the thing. The older I get... The, um... The older I get the more the days blend together days turn into weeks weeks turn into months months turn into years time goes by so much faster than it used to when i was a kid but i don't uh i won't get into that in this video uh, i'll probably make a separate video doing that uh anyway thank you guys for watching uh i'll go ahead I'm, I'm i'll probably make that a separate video if you guys want to hear me just sort of ramble on about getting older and being old damn even though I'm not that old, I'm only 21 or 22, guys. I just turned 22. I mean, it's not that old. But damn, do I feel old. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Uh, peace.